to us it is not just a place where you work, it is a home. You know? and, and this is where we have a slightly different mentality, that we have to do something mainly because to us it's a home. Maybe to our parents it's just a place where they work, you know, but to us it is a home. That's why we're concerned about it being clean, it being secure, and it's the bigger reason, the more reason why young people have to, to be the ones to bring the change, because they have more to, to lose if it doesn't work out. There was a lot of misconception, a lot of conflicting information about Kibera, demographically. Uh, it was a blank spot on the map. Even Google had not, could not map it. It was not mapped. In the government of Kenya's map, it was a forest. It was depicted as a forest. Yet there were hundreds of thousands of people living there. Uh, this project, we called it Map Kibera Project. Because the previous attempts at advocacy usually failed in Kibera, mainly because people did not have information and facts. People do not even know the exact population of Kibera. And it's not an expert duty alone. The map is made by everyone. The technical team only does it on the computer, but they have to get advice at every step of the process from the community. If today here is a school and tomorrow it becomes a church, then we get that information from the community and update the map. Our project, uh, our work has been identified by the police here in Kibera as very really important for security, especially the security map and the, the elections map that we just produced. So, ni symbol iko lakini jina ijatokea. Tunaweza badilisha hiyo kabla tufanye more printouts. In 2007 December, just after the elections uh, results were finally announced, uh, everyone was expecting uh, a good uh, competition and good uh, results. But everyone was shocked, especially because after a series of funny events like blackouts, electricity blackouts, and suddenly, then the electricity comes back. Then Kibaki was now leading, you know, with a lot of votes. This is when violence broke out unexpectedly, uh, spontaneously. Uh, it's hard to say that it was organized. It was so abrupt that you can't really tell because in Kibera, for example, I, I know people who couldn't control themselves. They, they started by by destroying their own television <laughs> because what they were seeing was not what they wanted to see. So they destroy their own television, they destroy stuff, and then they get out of the house to destroy property. It's part of a process, a longer process. So after the map is made, an election-specific map of Kibra with all the polling centers where they are and facts on each polling station. And we stationed reporters in each of those polling stations to be reporting to our websites and SMS sites on the voiceofkibera.org website. And this is, this is information that really, really helped reduce tension in Kibera and in a large extent uh, prevented violence from happening.
So this is community and citizen uh, media, citizen reporting, which, which is taking everything by storm. Because now we don't have to wait for CNN or citizen television to cover a story. We don't want to see people being killed by police and nobody doing a story on that. We don't want to see houses burning and nobody is doing a story on that. But how will these people get help if nobody writes their story? If somebody who lives here writes a story like that. Except a few complaints of queues taking too long and also the sun is getting hot and hotter. But these people are saying they have to exercise their democratic life, their democratic rights. We're not just sure for Kenneth. We are moving from that, you know. We're moving from uh, people allowing people to st do stories on, on Kibera for the sake of the stories, or just to show other people in the world that oh, oh, this is also happening somewhere in the world, but we are not part of it. You know, we want somebody who does stories to do stories and do something about those stories, you know, not just do stories for the sake of stories. We are now at the Voting process here seems to be going on pretty good, except a few challenges and conflicts of people taking too long to see. Despite that, I think they have to.